what gets into our body and changes our health, it, it's literally thousands of chemicals. If you want to explain complex diseases, you need to look at all the things that contribute to it. There is a study of the fascinating interplay between the cumulative effect of all the exposures on a body and our genes. It's called exposomics. And that is the topic on Tomorrow's Cure, a podcast from Mayo Clinic that brings the future of medicine to the present. I'm Kathy Werzer. Thanks for being with us. We are talking to two leading explorers of the exposome today. We're so excited about this. Dr. Gary Miller is an international leader on the exposome. He founded the first exposome research center in the country. Dr. Konstantinos Lazaridis is a gastroenterologist who is the Carlson and Nelson Endowed Executive Director for Mayo Clinic Center for Individualized Medicine. So I'm wondering what specific exposures make up the exposome? So the exposome is designed to capture as many of the exposures as possible. And it's not just the ones we would think that would be negative, it's the positive ones as well. So when you eat your breakfast, there's a lot of nutrients and vitamins there, that's good. But there might be pesticide residues or plastic residues on it. Um, you might have air pollution or allergens in the air that you're breathing. And so what we're looking at is all the things that people get exposed to. And I like to think about it of, the compilation of all the physical, biological, chemical, and psychosocial influences on our health. The challenge now is that we need to recognize that we're exposed to hundreds or thousands of things. And the idea is that our, our systems hadn't been built to study that complexity, but that's what we're trying to do with exposomics. It's, it's not the dramatic exposure that happens once in a lifetime is those small events that happen every day, every day, every day, over five years, 10 years, that create the problem. But I want to know about those exposures that affect my immune system. They affect the way my organs are aging. They're affecting my mechanisms to prevent or promote cancer. I want to know those. And if I'm aware of those things, I can do something about it. I don't think it's our genes. I don't know what it is, but we have to pay the attention to identify those other non-genetic elements to that. How might our exposure to a warming climate, more heat waves, how might that affect us? Do we have any idea, Dr. Miller? So I like to think of climate change and the sort of variations we have in uh, overall temperature patterns as being a force multiplier to all of our exposures. Uh, for example, if you think, uh, if you've ever tried to stir sugar into a glass of iced tea versus hot tea, the warmer things are, the more chemical interactions occur. And we live in a soup of chemicals. And so when the, the temperatures get hotter, you're creating more opportunities for those interactions to occur. And you're exacerbating a lot of underlying problems that are already there. So it's the climate change is really just making many things worse. If you want to explain complex diseases, you need to look at all the things that contribute to it. Uh, and if you think about uh, the blue zones, there are places on earth where people live longer. Yes. I think it's about the environment they live and the activities they have and the, so the socio-economic interaction they have in those places. I'd say if you go back like 10 or 15 years ago, people were still thinking that as the genomic techniques got better and better, it would close the gap. And I think we've reached a point now where the genetics has explained a lot, but there's, a, there's this gap there. And so it's like, what's the rest of it? And that's where exposomics fits. And we've done a great job of studying the genes, and we have to do a better job of studying the environment. And we need to do it for all of our diseases and for health, for you know, looking for optimizing health. Um, so I, my hope is that uh, exposomics help puts the environment on that equal footing to the genes. Watch the full episode and more at tomorrowscure.com. <laughs>